Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up, I, my set, in my setup, I do debugging of Pinto's code. So I'm uh, working on a project, uh, the user progs project, let's say. So I'm in Pinto's uh, and I will go to my user prog. Uh, I'll do a make uh, clean here. I made I removed the build directly if it were already existed. So I'm going to do a make and I'm going to then uh, see if I can run this code. So uh, while that's while, once it builds, I'm going to go into the build directory and I'm going to run my um, so that's my build directory. I need a file disk um, a disk to do project uh, project or the process API project. So I need a, to create a disk and uh, Pintos has a utility for doing that. By the way, all these are instructions on on Stanford's website. I'm just making a video to, to explain what you should be doing. So it's a minus minus file sys, uh, a size of two, and I'm gonna give it a name called filesys.dsk because that's the default one it's gonna be looking for. Uh, Filesys.dsk. So it's created it. I'm going to go ahead and format it. Minus F minus Q. Uh, if you're if you fail this minus F minus Q, the most likely reason for it is because uh, because you did not set your paths properly in the Pinto's ut the utils directory utils directory there are three files in which you should be modifying So I'm just going to show you what those are if you go to I'm just going to grab it for you so if I grab uh, my sandbox from uh, the utils directory uh, Just you'll see that there are three things that have to be properly set in Pinto's there should be a kernel dot bin in GDB macros there should be it should be pointing to the proper one and the Pintos PM should be pointing to the proper one. Uh, it should be the user prog and not the uh, kern, uh, threads. Uh, often people uh, take instructions for for threads and use it for uh, use it to do user prog but these should be pointing to the right project you're working on. So I've created the disk so I can do a make check uh, and it's going to run through and do all those checks. I don't want to run all the checks. If I only want to run one check, because I failed the very first check, I'm going to run just one check, which is the first one. I say make test uh, user prog, which test am I going to run? args uh, none. Uh, none. And I sh uh, make takes the parameter result here so if I run it it says it's already ran you already ran it so I'm gonna ask him to remove any trace of it being run before because it produces an output file and I'm gonna remove that output file and I'm gonna make it again uh, so now when I make it I get my output now you'll notice that the basic process Pintos follows is it first runs Pintos produces an output file and then runs Perl to check if this output file matches what is given in the in the uh, script file. So it compares them if they, there's a match mismatch between the produced result and the expected result. It complains. So uh, now I'm going to run the same thing, but this time I'm going to run it in uh, run just the code to see what messages came up because I want to just see that i don't want to look at the output file i just want to see what came out of it so i'm just rerunning it but this time i'm not running it within make i'm running it myself so if i do this it launched and i told it not to open the kmu window so it just ran it and gave me an output it's the output doesn't make much sense but i i want to see whether uh, how my development itself works so i said well I'm going to look at this and uh, and I I can rerun it. Uh, well, I can make a small change to this and I can run it in the debugger. So if I run it in the debugger, 
then I can connect to the debugger. So I'm going to go CD uh, Pintos uh, user prog on this other terminal. I'm going to go to the build window and you run Pintos with a there's a GDB version of Pintos, just uh, it calls GDB, uh, it calls Pintos using GDB. Uh, so it, I say Pintos GDB and I tell it to open kernel.o. So that's going to open kernel.o. Uh, but right now, this this second terminal, uh, the GDB is not connected to this yet. To connect it, I run this macro called debug Pintos, which by the way will not you will not have it if this doesn't work it means that your gdb macros are not properly set so when I, once i run it it's connected once it's connected i can do things like set breakpoints and that sort of stuff so for just for now i'm going to set a breakpoint inside uh, uh, the syscall dot c inside syscall init i know that syscall init ought to be called so I'm going to set it there and I'm going to say continue. So it came in and I want to know, so I'm just going to list what, what code I'm on. So it's saying there is a syscall, that's the interrupt frame structure. And uh, what this is basically doing is uh, setting up the, uh, the first line is saying when a system call occurs, you will call this uh, uh, handler. So the handler that we haven't we haven't touched yet is going to be invoked whenever there is an actual system call done. So um, so to kind of tie this tie the whole thing together, what I'm going to do is I will uh, open. So just to kind of show you, close the loop. So I'll continue and it's going to run through and exit. So this is just your regular debugging session. So. Uh, ideally, what I do is I'm going to open uh, another terminal um, and I'm going to open my uh, my code in an editor. So I'm going to go to CD uh, CD 460X sandbox. Uh, there's my Pintos and user prog, and I'm going to open uh, process or let's open syscall.c and uh, there's my syscall.c uh, i'll just close this guy make it a little bigger control x so you can see better and just to see whether i'm what's going on i'm going to put a printf statement here a printf uh, i'm going to say syscall in it here uh, a new line, and I'm just gonna do that. And I'm gonna go ahead and build from here, which you can do if you use Emacs. So I just make from here. So it made it. So I can go back now, and from within my first window, which is a debugger, I'm gonna leave that as it is. But this other one just terminated. So I'm gonna re, I'm gonna rerun it, and now. Uh, now here I'm gonna open a connection again because every time you close a connect every time the program runs it loses its connection so I'm gonna run Pintos debug Pintos and now it says notice that it says the symbols have changed so I'm late reloading it so you don't really have to get out of GDB you just stay within it and now I'm gonna say continue and it remembers the breakpoint still so I say just continue so it's gonna go in there and I'm going to single step, uh, single step. There's the printf. That printf ran and says syscall in it here. And so I know I know how this process works now. So I'm going to say continue and I'm done. So uh, you can use this uh, as your method. Uh, what I r recommend though, if you have the time and uh, the patients to also explore using DDD because the uh, DDD provides a richer interface on top of GDB. Thank you.